Welcome to my channel. I got another um, unboxing and review of a Transformers Siege War for Cybertron um, trilogy. And this time it is Voyager class Megatron. And he is in his box. Looking really awesome. And some um, artwork on the side of Megatron. And you can see here Megatron Voyager class. Made in Vietnam. Here's a uh, like the poster art on the side and the box the back box art and you can see over here Megatron with a giant sword and then he transforms into this tank. Okay, let's get him unboxed. He comes in robot mode and comes with his fusion cannon here. And this sword that turns into the, the barrel of the tank. Now, if you notice, um, typically Megatron has a black and gray color, in, I guess in G1. Um, Megatron. This is not black and I'm not sure if that will that the color will show um, will show on camera but it is like a dark walnut brown but I guess it's close enough to being black that I'm actually okay with it that it's not black so it goes on his arm here he has these um, holes for this peg to put on his fusion cannon and he can hold his sword in his other arm, the other hand here, like so. And there you go. This is pretty much Megatron in robot mode. As you can see, he does have some weathering. Let me just remove the sword out of the way. So if you look at his chest, he does have a lot of weathering detail on here. And then also on his arms and on his lower legs he does now this part I'm not too fond of I, I was, I'm ho was hoping it, it, you see they have the, this red um, paint app here it would have been nice if they actually painted this whole thing red to actually make it look a little bit uh, different from the upper torso and then over here on the, this part of the arm, it's red, but on the back, it's not. Would have been nice if this was red as well. On the back, you can see these, this becomes the tank treads. And as you can see, uh, there is some weathering detail here as well. And also on his head. Now, I'm just going to go, my biggest gripe with this figure um, is actually the head. I, I don't like the fact that um, this hinge here is all that's holding the weight of this head. There's, it would have been nice if there was some kind of little tab in here that you know caught this so that it will lock it in, yet still allowing it to push in if needed, or if this was um, if this had some kind of locking mechanism. So right now over here is just a hinge, and so. You know, while you're messing around with Megatron, a lot of times the head will just drop in because um, there's really nothing holding it in place. That's my first biggest um, gripe about this figure. My second one is on the back. I'm. It is a little ball joint in here. Not sure why it's exposed or if it really needed to be exposed like this, but it is. And it would be nice if it was just a nice clean uh, covered part. And the ball joint was not exposed on the back here. Other than that, um, I really like the figure all in all. It is very G1. I, I personally think it's the best G1 representation of Megatron that we have in the Generations line. Um, the next best, I would say, is um, the original uh, 2006 Classics Megatron. But my, the issue with that for me was the colors were all off with the purple. 
this looks like Megatron, feels like Megatron. Now, he doesn't transform into a gun, but um, I guess nowadays uh, a tank would be the closest thing we can get uh, for Megatron. But this, in the robot mode, this is Megatron, which is okay for me because in the, in the series, Megatron was hardly in his gun mode anyway. I mean, didn't really make sense for him to um, transform into a small gun and have somebody else hold him. Um, cool in the 80s, but probably doesn't really make sense right now. All right, with that being said, let's get on to the articulation of this figure. We'll start with the head. First of all, I've already gone over this part of the head. That's not an articulation, but if you wanted to be a turtle, Megatron can become a turtle. So Megatron's head is on a ball joint, but one thing is it is tight. Um, I think, theoretically, being on this joint, he should be able to go 360 degrees, but it stops really hard here, and I really don't want to force it, so I would just say he can look left and right, has a little bit of up and down, but not too much for the head. So, by the way, very nice head sculpt. Would have been nice if there was some um, clear light, uh, clear uh, light piping in here for the for the red eyes. But okay, now let's go to the waist. Waist, it can be turned 360 degrees. Now, when turning 360 degrees, the 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 backpack does have to come up a bit because it does get in the way so like if I go like this there you go okay so waist has that kind of articulation let's put this back here going to the arm the arm can rotate 360 degrees like so over here on the shoulder it can rotate 360 degrees at the elbow and it can move up 90 degrees here, a little bit more than 90 degrees. No wrist articulation, mainly due to the transformation because it goes in like this. So that's okay. I'm not, I mean, wrist articulation is nice, but um, I'm okay on figures that don't have it. For the legs, he can move all the way up. Go all the way back, as you can see, it's limited by this backpack here, the tread backpack. Tread backpack, but if you lift it up a little bit, it can go a bit further. Has articulation at the knee, and he can rotate at the thigh, 360 degrees, and he can do the splits. Now. So there seems to be articulation in the foot for it to go this way and I'm gonna try to do it it's gonna sound like you're breaking it but yep there you go I am NOT a fan of it though because it's it's really loose afterwards now you can pop it back in I guess but um, I think I'd rather have it just lock like in here it's it's locked in because I'm, you know, it, it just makes it too loose. Now, there's no art, there's a slight, I guess, articulation here, but I wouldn't really count it, even though it does move like that. But that's about it for the, the articulation on the figure. Oh, okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Let's transform him into his tank mode. So, to get started in this tank mode, we're going to rotate this up and then we're going to push his fist in here and then I'm going to lift up his backpack and then this is going to come the arms oh actually I forgot we got to put this up and then the arms will come in and then push it together this is going to be the turret now up here we're going to Flip the tank treads out and then bring this around here. And this piece is going to actually go into this little slot here. So it's a little tricky at first because um, there's a bunch of stuff in the way, but it, it you're, you're able to move it out. There you go. And then 
boom. Now next, this these tabs will go in here. So let's put them in there and line them up so that it can lock in place or tab in place, I would say. Okay, next we're going to rotate the legs 360 degrees. Have Megatron do the splits. And then we're going to lift this part of the leg out like that. Gonna do it on both sides. And then we're gonna bring the lower leg in on both sides, like that. And then this piece is gonna come into here by doing this. There you go, so they're in. And we're gonna do the same on this side. And you're gonna see there's a little uh, tab here. So this is actually going to go in there, this part, you can see. So let's push this guy down. And then over here you can see how it tabs in. Boom. And then this side as well. Tabs in and then the lower legs are done. Next we're going to go put the heels in. And then basically have the toes point this way and this is the tank mode without the bar tank barrel and all we're going to do is let's get the tank barrel here here's the tank barrel the sword turns into the tank barrel i'm going to separate a little bit so we can rotate this around like this this is the top with the scope here so this will be the top of the tank barrel. And we're gonna slide this into this little gap here. Let's, this thing, let's move that up and then slide this into the fusion cannon barrel. And there you go. Here is Megatron in his tank mode. Very nice tank mode. He, his uh, turret can rotate 360 degrees in this mode is nice. As you can see um, a lot of the weathering comes together on here as it matches up here on the top of uh, this the tank here. Over, all in all a really nice futuristic tank mode or Cybertronian tank mode. I like the paint apps here um, kind of make it like that there's some kind of power in here um, and then of course I love how just just the paint apps in general. This part, I wish this was red as well, and it would have made sense and matched well in robot mode and in tank mode. So just a minor little uh, gripe. Uh, over here, we have some detailing on different paint apps on here. So one thing I really like about this line, they, you know, they, they're not using stickers and they're putting some uh, painted detail on to the figure which is great. All right, let us transform him back into robot mode and do some size comparisons. All right, so here's Megatron back in his robot mode. Here he is next to the Lux size sideswipe. As you can see, towers over him pretty easily. And over here, he's next to the Lux size cog. He's slightly taller than sideswipe. And let's uh, add in here Sky Tread as well. So you can see Megatron is a very nice uh, size figure. I like. Uh, the leaders in this Voyager size. Um, I'm not too fond of him being too large, like in the, the, the leader size class, but um, I think the Voyager size um, matches well for figures like Optimus Prime and Megatron. Here he is next to Shockwave. Now Shockwave is a leader class figure because of all the extra bits that he has. But um, as you can see, Megatron towers over him just a little bit. Now, Shockwave, I, I 
personally look at Shockwave being as a Voyager class size without all his uh, armor that he comes with to become that super robot. And last but not least, here he is next to Leader Class Ultra Magnus. And as you can see, Ultra Magnus is a bit bigger. Well, not a bit, a lot bigger. And I, I think this, this size uh, differentiation makes sense. Um, I like the fact that Ultra Magnus is taller in this mode, but not overly large. Um, here's a Combiner Wars uh, Ultra Magnus. And as you can see, um, let's put him right here. A lot bigger um, than the Transformer Siege Ultra Magnus, but um, at this size, um, I think at the Combiner Wars size, I, I'm, I think it's way too big. Anyway, that's it for this review. Um, all in all, I really like this figure a lot, and this will be my main Megatron in my collection. I, I have a little cabinet where I kind of put all the different G1 toys. Uh, together and I and right now um, acting as Megatron in this set that I have I is um, the classics 2006 classics Megatron but this is a much better representation of him in my opinion anyway thank you for watching